I picked this subject because uh, uh, illness affects everyone. Everyone in this theater, everyone who sees this movie share a common bond. We all have to go to the doctor. And our ability to go to the doctor should never be based on whether or not we can pay for it. It should simply be based on the fact that if you're sick, you have a human right to see a doctor. That's the bottom line. And that's, I think most Americans will agree with that. And, and I'm hopeful that we can get to a place where we have national health care and n people never have to worry about paying for it. You know, pay for it with our taxes. Uh, that's a, you know, I, we don't like to pay taxes in this country. Uh, and, and I can understand why, because we never see any results for them. You know, we can't even get the potholes fixed. In other countries, they pay more taxes than we do, but they don't complain as much as us because they actually see a tangible result. You know, their kids go to college for free, daycare is cheap, uh, medical care is free, and so they actually see a, an actual result from paying taxes. We don't, what do we see? You know, a war, potholes that aren't fixed, you know, so I can understand why people don't want to pay taxes. This is a movie not about people who are uninsured. This is a movie about people who have insurance. This is about the 250 million Americans who think they're covered, who like to brag to their friends, oh yeah, you know, I, I got benefits on my job. I'm fully covered. And I say to them, yeah, really? Have you ever read your health insurance policy? And just ask anybody on the street. Nobody, including me, has read their 100-page health insurance policy. Well, you're, you'll be in for a rude awakening someday uh, if you ever get an illness that they don't want to cover because, you know, they're, they're in the business of making money and they don't make money if they pay out claims to hospitals and to doctors. The most shocking thing, and I didn't put this in the film because, well, partly because it was so depressing, I just, I just, uh, and I don't want people to leave my movies full of despair, and, but um, one of the whistleblowers told me of an instance where a woman had been raped and uh, so she, they took her to the hospital. She submitted the hospital bill to her insurance company and the insurance company said, uh, we don't cover it because if you look in the fine print of your policy, uh, we don't cover any health related issues if it's caused by a crime. It's like, what insanity is that? I hope that they go out on a Friday night after working hard all week and have a good time at this movie. That's what I always hope for. My, my, my main concern is that I make a movie that at the end of it, after spending two hours and eight or nine dollars on it, uh, that you come out of there going, wow. <laughs> That, that was a great way to spend two hours. So, and I think it is. Thank you. Thank you. You know what?